About 79 million people are infected with the human papillomavirus, or HPV, and 14 million are newly affected every year. Oh, uh, uh, well, it might be one of the most common STDs. It can be addressed at a young age. Yeah, and that's why it's something that doctors recommend getting your child vaccinated for, even if they're not currently sexually active. New this morning, Aaron Fields joins us now to talk more about what North Dakota has been doing to combat the problem and raise awareness about HPV vaccinations. Hi, Aaron. Yes, Tim and Alicia, so the HPV has this reputation that it's only something um, people that are sexually active need to worry about, but it's actually something that you need to worry about way before that. Mm -hmm. Research shows children typically should start getting the vaccine at 11 to 12 years old before they are sexually active. Although it is almost generally known to cause cervix cancer in women, men who get HPV can also see a wide range of adverse effects, including head or neck cancer. I spoke with the director of Sanford Health's Children's Clinic, who says they've really stepped up educating parents and children about HPV. North Dakota has gone from a little over 30% of HPV vaccinations to now nearly 65%. The director told me the more we educate, the more people don't have to be so scared about getting vaccinated. You know, the, the negative things that we read about, just like any other parent do, does, um, but I guess we go by CDC and they are monitoring it, they're monitoring the safety, they're collecting all the data as far as side effects and that, um, and they wouldn't have it out there if it wasn't safe. She adds that she herself hasn't seen very many side effects from giving the vaccine, but I talked to a mother who recently got her daughter vaccinated, and I asked her what she would tell parents who might be skeptical. As long as you use the word cancer prevention and you throw the word cancer out there, it kind of touches home because we have so many people that do have cancer, have cancer that run in their families, and this is something that they can get to protect their child from ever needing to hear the word cervical cancer, um, genital warts, just to help them prevent against those strains. And a big congratulations to Floor, who just won the HPV Vaccine is Cancer Prevention Award for her hard work on the HPV virus. She says North Dakota still has improvements to make to keep the vaccination rate on the rise, but Floor says she thinks the increase in education is why they've seen such a dramatic increase. For more information about HPV, head to our KX website, kxnet.com. Tim and Alicia, I asked Floor if I was too old to get the vaccination myself, but they said they've actually been encouraging people um, in their early 20s to 30s to get vaccinated. So mm -hmm. I guess that's something I need to right. head on my to-do list. Not right. something just uh, not just for uh, yeah. 11 to 12 year olds. Exactly. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Aaron.